Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County YouTube channel. We're a nonprofit United Way agency and we offer these videos to you to use for educational purposes or just for fun. These reading videos are very fun if you want to watch them just to hear some good stories and to learn how to make your reading better. Just hit the subscribe button below and the thumbs up button if you like it and you can share it with your friends. The last vid uh, video on learning to read is lesson five and we're going to look at the characteristics of a fluent reader, right? What makes a fluent reader? And here are three characteristics that would make you a better or a fluent reader. Well-developed word recognition skills, right? We looked at vocabulary and we're gonna look at it again, a little bit again today. That's when you see words and you recognize what they mean. So that makes you a better reader. Reading that sounds effortless and occurs without stumbling over individual words. So it kind of just all flows together. Um, and appropriate expression and inflection, which carry a rhythmic flow. And so I will um, demonstrate that for you today so you can kind of look at it. And then here are these um, characteristics of, of fluency as well. Pausing, how students read the punctuation. And I will give you an example of that. And sometimes people don't stop at periods, they just keep on reading. And so then it loses its meaning or it doesn't make sense. Phrasing, the way the readers put words together in groups or phrases, how things sound, right? The emphasis the reader places on particular words. Stress, there's punctuation marks for a reason. Question marks, exclamation points, because we need to stress different and ask different words different ways. Intonation, the way, the way the reader changes pitch, tone, and volume. Rate, the pace at which the reader reads words and moves through the text. So are we flying through the text and we're not paying any attention or are we reading carefully and trying to understand what we're reading? And, and integration means we're using, when we integrate, we take a whole bunch of things into one. We're using all of these other five to integrate to make us a better reader, to blend the other characteristics together, okay? So today we're going to read this book called It's My Turn. And um, remember we talked in the last lesson, we said it's by David Bedford. He's the gentleman that wrote it. And it's illustrated by Elaine Field. She's the lady who drew the pictures, right? So we're gonna look at the six characteristics of fluency and then we're gonna apply all of our lessons together. So if we were looking at the, the first lesson of fluency and we uh, read this like there was no punctuation, we would say, Oscar and Tilly found a playground. Shall we play on the slide, ask Oscar? I'll go first, said Tilly. Now, does that sound good to you? That's not how you're supposed to read, right? You're supposed to follow the punctuation. So we would say, Oscar and Tilly found a playground. Shall we play on the slide, asked Oscar? I'll go first, said Tilly. See, that sounds much better, right? I'll go now, said Oscar. Not yet, said Tilly. It's not your turn. Wow! See, that's exclamation. If you see an exclamation point, you emphasize that word and you say it you know, louder with more um, emphasis. That looks like fun, said Oscar. Is it my turn now? Not yet, said Tilly. Tilly went round and round on the merry-go-round. Is it my turn yet, asked Oscar. No, said Tilly, I haven't finished. Th Tilly went round and round and round and round. I feel dizzy, said Tilly. Hee hee, cried Oscar. It's my turn now. You're too dizzy. This is fun. I feel better now, said Tilly. Can I slide after you? No, said Oscar. It's not your turn. Can I go on the swing after you, asked Tilly. No, said Oscar. It's still my turn. Get off, Tilly, shouted Oscar. It's my turn on the seesaw. The seesaw doesn't work, said Tilly. But when Oscar jumped on the other end, Tilly went up in the air, Wee! Then Tilly came down and Oscar went up, woo! And then, wee, woo! Oscar and Tilly played together all afternoon. There they are, they're friends in the end. So that's the lesson we're looking at, it's my turn. Let's try to take all of the things that we've studied and put them together here in it's my turn. 
The very first lesson we looked at sight words, right, from the book we read about snow and the snowballs. So we're going to try to hit this bullseye with our sight words. The first sight word is play. You notice it has a Y at the end, but we don't really hear the Y. Just play, right? Then now, now, yet, like let and yet, yet, round. Remember they went round and round on the merry-go-round? Turn, turn, and air, right? You kind of, the A and the I make a A eh sound, air. So those would be our sight words. We should recognize those as soon as we see them. Our vocabulary, some words that we should know what they mean. If it said they played together, what does that mean? Together, we did this together, right? Two people come in the same spot and do the same thing. They're doing it together. And then another one would be afternoon. We go to back to the story. When were they playing? Did it, was it early in the morning? Was it at dark? No, it was in the afternoon, right? That's when you have your lunch. When you're at school, usually in the afternoon. And then playground, right? Where were they playing? What were they doing? That's where all the seesaw was, the swing was, the slide was, just like at school. The playground, that's where you go at recess. So we, those are some vocabulary words we need to know. Then if we look at a couple reading comprehension questions, remember I told you when we did lesson four, when you're reading, ask yourself, who are the characters? What are they doing? Who are the two characters in this book? One was Oscar, the other was Tilly, right? Those are the two characters. Which character never gets a turn? Who's the first in the beginning? Each one of them takes their turn, right? In the beginning, Oscar never gets a turn because Tilly won't let him. Then Tilly never gets a turn because Oscar won't let her, right? So then we would, that's what happens to the two characters in the book. And then which piece of playground equipment needed both characters to work, right? They have to work how? Together. That would be what? The seesaw. When someone goes down, the other one goes up, right? When this person goes down, this one goes up. If you sit on the seesaw by yourself, nothing happens. So they had to work together and play together on that um, piece of equipment. So what we want to do is every time we read, we want to kind of blend all of these things together, our vocabulary, our sight words, and some comprehension questions, and that will make you a, mo a more fluent reader so that you can read um, higher level books and then your reading and comprehension skills grow, right? We hope that all of these lessons, these five lessons on learning to read helped you. You can always go back to the first one and look through them again. There are five different stories that you can listen to that you like. And if you did like them, please hit the thumbs up button below and try to share them with your friends. Thank you.